Hello, I'm Gordon Dixon, transportation writer at the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, and welcome to the latest edition of Honkin' Mad. This week, let's go deep into the future. Driverless cars may not be as far in the future as you think. For several years now, Google has been testing a fleet of driverless cars. They've gone hundreds of thousands of miles without a major accident or other serious problems. Several manufacturers, Toyota, Volkswagen, Mercedes, they've applied for permits to begin testing their own versions of smart cars or tar cars that talk to each other. And Cadillac has pledged that by 2017, they'll be releasing a Super Cruise feature that allows you to not only take your foot off the pedal, but take your hands off the wheel when you're on the highway. So are you ready to take your hands off the wheel? Last year in Austin, I was at the Texas Transportation Forum and the Google car, one of the Google cars, the Toyota Prius, made an appearance at the, at the forum I was at. And this vehicle has gone hundreds of thousands of miles without an accident. And it's, it's really kind of neat the way it works. There's, there is a guy in the driver's seat uh, but he will take his hands off the wheel once they engage the uh, driverless uh, function. There's a guy in the passenger seat with a laptop and he kind of directs the car what to do. And they'll usually take dignitaries in the back and let them kind of go for the ride and enjoy it. And the people I've spoken with who actually got to go in the car say it's, it's really pretty uh, amazing how natural it feels and how the car is able to read the road and to see obstacles, to see other cars, to see pedestrians and that sort of thing. Now it's not a perfect technology, the car had a little bit of trouble in some construction areas when it had uh, jersey barriers and things like that. And I've also read that it, it has difficulty around obstacles such as railroad tracks. But what the car does in that situation is it kind of throws the controls back to the driver. It'll send a message saying, I don't understand what's up ahead. You need to take the wheel. And in that case, the driver will take control of the car back. And a lot of people say that's evidence that we're still years away from the, cell, the driverless car being a real thing. But to me, that just shows that the technology has come so far that it's able to work its way through these obstacles. And it's just a matter of time, in a matter of months, if, if maybe just a couple years before these obstacles are overcome. The main obvious benefit would be safety. In the United States, we have 30,000 deaths a year in automobile crashes. And actually, in the, as far back as the 1980s, before seatbelts became, became mandatory, it was as high as 50,000. But those deaths could all, be, all but be eliminated by driverless cars, when you think about it. I mean, driverless cars can, uh, the technology that exists today, these cars can talk to each other and avoid collisions. You, you basically would all but eliminate DWIs, just imagine the world we would live in where you would basically not have DWI related deaths, texting and driving deaths. I, I personally think that when, not if, but when we have a world of driverless cars, our, our future generations are going to look back on this as a barbaric period, kind of like we look at the periods of public hangings in the 19th century. People are going to say, why did you go so long with the technology to avoid all these deaths? when you could have solved it with a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars per car of an investment. Right now, the driverless cars are basically going the speed limit. The researchers who are testing the technology aren't going to try to do anything too crazy. But that's a really interesting concept. I mean, think about the speed limit concept itself. What is the speed limit? It's a human limitation on driving. If all the cars on the road are talking to each other and they're able to move at the most efficient means possible, who cares what the speed limit is? If this brave new world of driverless cars really does come to pass, I'll have nothing to be honking mad about. But in the meantime, if you've got a gripe or a story idea, shoot me an email, or even better, leave me a message on the honking mad hotline. I'm Gordon Dixon, we'll see you down the road.